How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I want to share with you a little bit of information when it comes to engine maintenance. And basically, just a super simple video talking about uh, torquing down the screws, specifically the engine cooling head, the carburetor pinch bolt, the carburetor um, ball where the linkage connects, and also the back plate. So we'll start with the cooling head. We get in a lot of engines to service and a lot of times the cooling head and also sometimes with the back plate, these screws will be cranked down super, super tight. And obviously you don't want to have your cooling head fall off, but I've been racing a long time and I've never seen a racer ever have the cooling head fall off. Maybe come loose or maybe break a fin off, but never fall off. So I will put in the comments the specs that are recommended from OS for the cooling head and also the back plate. If you have an actual torque wrench, you can use those um, specific specifications. But obviously the screws need to be secured. They need to be tight and make sure that they're able to run for hours on end and, and not come loose. But they do not need to be torqued down and cranked down as tight as you can. So with the cooling head and also the back plate, you'll always want to make sure that you tighten and loosen the screws in kind of a cross pattern. You can hear when, when I crack these loose, they were pretty tight, um, but it didn't take a whole lot of, you know, like muscle or force to, to remove them. So I'm just using my MIP wrench here. I'm not using my actual torque wrench, but what I like to do is go ahead and just kind of get them just lightly snug again in a cross pattern and then I will go back a second time and tighten them the rest of the way down so as you can see I'm not really straining to make sure those are tight they are tight they're very secure um, but they don't need to be over tightened if you over tighten them and you strip a head bolt it's nearly impossible to get off. You can't really get down in there to uh, extract the screw. So with the back plate, it's pretty much the same thing. You wanna always make sure that you tighten down the screws in a cross pattern. And they do need to be snug, but they do not need to be like just super, super torqued down. I will check those screws from time to time, but for the most part, it's not something that you need to put thread lock in or really pay too much attention to. As far as the ball that the linkage connects to, when it's new, I always like to take and clean the screw and put a drop of thread lock on there. Make sure I have the proper angle and orientation so that my linkage is straight. And then I will tighten that screw down pretty tight but again it doesn't have to really be cranked down sometimes you can tighten this set screw down so tight that it'll actually pinch or kind of like crush the end of the slide and then it'll make it a little bit more difficult to adjust the low speed needle so again it needs to be snug it needs to kind of dig into the end of the slide but um, not not crazy tight and then the last thing will be the pinch bolt. Now, this is something that does need to be checked a little more frequent. I also like to use uh, a drop of thread lock when everything's new. I'll go ahead and clean the pinch bolt, the threaded side, and I'll also clean the screw. Put a drop of thread lock, make sure I line up the carburetor, have the proper orientation, and then I will tighten down um, that screw. But from time to time when I'm servicing my car, it's not something that you need to do necessarily like every race day, but I will go and just check, like just to make sure, again, don't have to really crank it down. That's tightening two pieces that basically pinch and clamp the carburetor, the thermal insulator, uh, which is plastic, so it kind of digs in a little bit. Hopefully this will help you have more consistent running and also better finishes in those long main events.